Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this month's edition of the Hello Woodlands Nonprofit of the Month Highlight. Hi, I'm Randy Lovelace with Paragon Independent Insurance, and I'm here through the magic of Zoom with my uh, new friend, uh, Jeff uh, Selinski, and he is with uh, FOB Razor. He is the uh, founder and director uh, of FOB Razor, and we're going to let Jeff tell us about uh, the organization. Uh, I've got a list of questions. I'm, maybe I should spread them out, but you know, what is FOB Razor? What's your mission? Um, how'd you come up with the name? And uh, by the end of your explanation, I know we're all going to know how you help the community, but then uh, how can the community help you? And uh, so, Jeff, I'm going to uh, just be quiet right now and let you take over and, and tell us everything about FOB Razor. Good afternoon, sir, and thank you so much for letting me be on board for this. Uh, yeah, Bob Razor, Ford Operating Base Razor. Uh, that's the name of our organization. Um, I can't begin to tell you what it is until I tell you how it started. Uh, I'll make it real quick, but a little over four years ago, I'm a retired Marine, spent 21 years in the Marine Corps Infantry. About four years ago, I was staring, I, I was in a grave situation. Uh, uh, I'm an alcoholic. I'm, uh, I suffer from post-traumatic stress, anxiety, uh, you know, depression, and I found myself about a pound and a half of trigger pull away from ending my own life. Um, I'm not going to get into what stopped me from doing it, but I will tell you that I made a phone call and I found myself in rehab within a couple of days, and I thought I was going to go to rehab to, uh, to get cured of what ailed me, and they told me, yo, Gunny, that's not what we do here. We're just going to get you uh, healthy enough to try to get some help. And so I met this gentleman in a halfway house by the name of Bobby, who was a Korean War veteran. He spent a year in a Chinese POW camp. So he understood the trials and tribulations of what veterans go through. And he also understood what it was like to be a slave to a beverage, like I was as an alcoholic. And he walked me through a 12-step way of living, not just for alcohol, like in Alcoholics Anonymous, but we applied a, a similar 12-step way of living to everything else that ailed me, to the nightmares, to the post-traumatic stress, to the anger, the anxiety, the depression. And, you know, I, I found the new way of life. Now, uh, to answer your question, how did we get the name of Fob Razor, Ford Operating Base Razor? Um, I, I named, called it Razor based after my best friend, Joe Razor. Joe Razor and I fought in Iraq and Afghanistan together. We were, when I say best friends, we were best friends. We were together all the time. And we're also from the same hometown, but you know, just outside of Tampa, Florida. And I was six months into my recovery, um, still pretty raw, like, a, like almost like an exposed nerve at that point. And I found out that Razor had taken his own life. Mm. And I wasn't in a place where I, I could even re, could have could have known. I had no idea. But I kept working my program and I kept doing what I had to do. And about a year ago, my uh, then girlfriend, now bride, asked me if you could do anything, if we could do anything, what would it be? And I said, I would really like to start something where I can give back to the veterans like my buddy Bobby did me. And March of 2020, Bob Razor, it named after my, uh, my buddy Joe, Ford Operating Base Razor was open, sir. And that's where we're at. Well, that's, that's amazing. And I, uh, just from that start right there, I can uh, see and hear the passion and, and yes, the determination sir. and stuff. And kudos to you for uh, being able to pull yourself up and, and uh, take control uh, of things like that. So that's, that's awesome. Uh, so then I was saying FOB, it's FOB Razor. Okay, I stand corrected. Uh, but... Um, uh, so, Fob Razor, what what is your mission going forward for obviously all the veterans that are that are out there? What what uh, what is that program? Fob Razor is a if you're in the military, you understand it. It's a it's a three T process. It's a train the trainer. We are a veteran led, veteran ran peer support group. 
we we meet as a group of veterans. So there's you know one percent of this country less than uh, makes up your veteran population. We are a small group of people. Um, so it's hard to find people that understand and have been through what we've been through and how we and and all the things that come with it. But we come together and we have men and women who have gone through it and are on the other side. And we have men and women who are starting to feel it and just now starting to get help. And we walk each other through this way of life via meetings. We also walk each other through this life through sponsorship, walking the new veteran, the new join, the new lifer for life, walking him through this 12 step program. And at the end of the day, we, we encourage and we find that all of these veterans, when they receive this, this, this new lease on life, this new way of dealing with life on life's terms, that they're compelled to give away what they receive so freely. They're, they're more than happy to start the process again and start this 3T train the trainer process. And it's, it's literally the gift that keeps on giving. And that's what we're all about at Bob Razor as far as our work with one another as veterans. Wow, that's amazing. Um, and I think from, at least from my perspective, uh, when I'm thinking about this whole subject matter, I guess uh, my feeling is that it's uh, primarily men. Uh, that's my first thought, that men have, have uh, problems and that they need the help. But women need help as well, obviously. Uh, it looks like you're starting a, a, um, um, a women's only uh, meeting group. Is that right? Absolutely. We're in the process of doing it. We got some hard charging female veterans that, that are, they're grabbing this bull, this bull by the horn and they're like, Hey, Gunny, we need our own meeting. We need our own meeting. And we're like, absolutely. We would just, we've been wanting it. We just didn't want to task anybody. We wanted, we wanted somebody to take the bull by the horns and say they wanted to do it. And we've got that. So now we're going to implement our, fem our female only veteran meeting. And you know what, there is a lot of female veterans who have, who have served and, and need some help as well. Um, yeah. They're kind of forgotten about sometimes. And so Bob Razor is, we, we have our Saturday meeting, we're all in are invited and that's great, but we're also gonna have a little bit of a pivot and have a, a female only meeting so they can talk about what they wanna talk about but not have to worry about uh, you know, what somebody else may misunderstand or may not understand at all. Right, right. Now, the, the best way to contact you as far as uh, getting involved, uh, whether you've uh, been through the steps and you want to uh, help out or you need the help and you need the, the meetings and so forth, how do you suggest that they contact you? What's the, the best way? Uh, my phone number, I only have one phone number, and it's on, it's on fobraiser.org. It's 281-573-7250. You can call me. You can link up with me. My email address is on fobraiser.org. Uh, Facebook, you can message me at fobraiser, fobraiser, F-O-B-R-A-S-O-R. And I'm, I'm not hard to find. I'm not hiding from anybody. I promise yeah. you, sir. Well, and I can also tell that uh, uh, I think you've got a little sense of humor. You know, uh, there I've, I've noticed on your, your Facebook, uh, it looks like you've got a little Aussie uh, in you. Uh, I've seen some uh, video clips there um, in, in promoting the buddy check system. And uh, so I, I do invite anyone to go on the Facebook and see some of those uh, videos that you put out there because those are, those are hilarious. Uh, but getting a point across, and I, uh, that's really good. That's awesome. Yes, sir, thank you. Uh, we at Bob Razor don't like to think of, uh, buddy is only half a word. The other half of the word is check. Um, we, there's a lot of awareness. A lot of people are aware of what's going on in the veteran, veteran world. You know, there's an enemy that's taken almost 22 of us a day. And a lot of people are aware of it. We're saying, let's do something about it. Yeah. Check on a veteran, call a veteran, see how they're doing. If you're, if you, if you're, if you feel like they're having issues, be direct and come out front and ask them what's going on. And you know what? Once you check on them, task them with checking on somebody else. This is the gift that keeps on giving. Let's just check on each other. And at the end of the day, 
the veteran may end up being like, man, I really miss talking to that guy. I'm glad I reached out at a minimum. Yeah. The buddy is only half a word. Let's check on our veterans. That's what all, all we're saying. Sounds good. What can uh, the community, what can Montgomery County do to help Bob Razor and uh, to uh, uh, help your, your, uh, your mission? Well, we can all, we, you know, just like any other nonprofit, we could get some, we could use some help paying our bills and, and we're grateful for that. We also more, you know, r right now, what I really would like y'all to do is just let people know that we're here. Um, there's only three other peer support veteran led organizations in all of Houston. So they're, they're few and far between, but statistics show that it, this works, this program, it, it works and it provides, if, people apply what they're taught and if they they work life on life's terms this works so yeah. at the very least just let everybody know we're here and we're we we are here to help we tell the veterans you've been out there fighting this fight all by yourself come back to the fob come back to the forward operating base let's regroup refit and go out as one unit to attack this enemy and that's that's what I'd like you to do, folks. Pass the word, Bob Razor. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, are you, are you open for speaking engagements? Oh, I'm I'm available, sir. I I would love to speak to anybody that'll give me the opportunity to tell them about what we're doing at Bob Razor. I absolutely will make time for certain, sir. And you and you you would wear your Aussie hat for us. You know what, sir? I got I got to get into roles for the Aussie hat. Um, I'm working on a new character now, so uh, he may make a cameo again in the in the in the distant future, but not anytime soon. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. Well, uh, Jeff, I really appreciate your uh, you, you being on uh, for us and telling us all about Fob Razor and the the history and where you're going with it. Uh, it's it's an awesome organization. Uh, and kudos to you for your own personal uh, achievements. That's that's just amazing. So uh, thank you so much for uh, being on this uh, Hello Woodlands uh, Nonprofit of the Month highlight. So uh, anyway, thank you so much. Honors all mine. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, everyone, that's that's it for this month. Uh, thank you for uh, watching this uh, this video. This amazing organization. Read the article as well. Uh, get to know them. Find out how you can uh, help. Fob Razor and uh, the mission, the very important mission that they uh, have um, uh, taken on helping out the, the vets. Thanks again. Everyone take care. Love all of you. Bye-bye.